Hi. One thing I want to talk to you about today is how to achieve a good value range in your illustrations. So if you're trying to do a drawing uh, and you're trying to achieve any sort of depth or uh, realism, what we really need to do is, is concentrate on achieving all the, the full value range, ranging from the darkest areas to the lightest areas. Now I've got a couple of examples here of drawings I want to show you. So let's see if I can get this where you can see it. So this is a drawing, pencil drawing here. And uh, I'm trying to get a full range of, of values in here. So we can see down in here some really super dark areas, some very, very light areas. And then we've got everything kind of going in between here. And what that does is it gives like a, a, a real sense of place. There's atmosphere in this drawing and there's, there's a lot of much more realism this way. Uh, contrast and value are also going to work really well towards um, creating a sense of depth in your drawing and complexity. Here's another piece. is a portrait, pencil portrait I did of uh, the basketball great Wilt Chamberlain. All right, so <clears throat> we have some, again, some really, really super dark areas, really dark area playing off of this much lighter area at the back of his neck. What that's doing is it's it's pulling the neck forward and pushing the background back. Uh, so it gives us that sense of depth within space. Uh, we also have planes being indicated on the, on the face and the skull up here just because of the way we have lights and darks falling across here. All right, so um, there's just a couple of, couple of ways that uh, that I've used that value range in a couple of drawings. One thing I want to tell you is this is really, really easy to achieve, but you have to be um, able to start to see these values as you're working. And it'll become much more natural to you the longer you do it. But when you're first getting started, um, some important things to uh, keep in mind to get that full value range in a drawing, you have to have a number of pencils, ranging from hard to medium to soft, very, very soft pencils, okay? That's what we're going to need. Uh, I'm gonna teach you today how to create a little value scale, which is kind of a great cheat as you're learning how to work these different values and even identify them in your, in your drawings. And all we're gonna need here is a piece of Bristol, and I've cut a piece of uh, nine inch by one and a half inch piece of Bristol and we want it to be a good firm piece like this because then we can draw on it and we can use it over and over again it won't, won't go away uh, you're going to need your value range of pencils from hard to soft leads um, and then another little trick we're going to need a a uh, hole punch all right so I'm going to Get this set up. I'm going to move the camera down here so you can see exactly what I'm doing on the table, and then we'll uh, I'll show you how to how to make your own little value scale. Okay, so here I have my pencils and my piece of Bristol. Now this is nine inches wide, which equals uh, 54 picas. You remember the PECA scale? So what I've done here is I've gone ahead and sectioned this off into nine in, nine PICA little rectangles. Um, it doesn't have to be absolutely precise, but that's that's something that you'll you'll be figuring out for yourself. So let's see if you can see. Yeah, so you can see there's a, some some divisions on here. And what I want to do, and in, in this case I've, I've broken it into six values you can make this as complex as you'd like but what I'm going to start with is uh, my lightest my lightest area so I'm just going to pick a very very hard pencil like this this is a 2H pencil and I'm just going to begin to color this in and you want to try to get as even a a tone across here as is possible. 
right? So you don't end up with a lot of pencil strokes, hopefully. So you might go in a couple of different directions. I'm just going to color this in and create a very, very light value across this panel. All right, and it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but try to get it as, as neat and clean as you can. I don't know if you can see this here. So there's some tone. Camera's not showing it really well. And when we get to the darker, here, yeah, you can see it. When we get to the darker ones, you're going to really see it. All right. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to choose my darkest value. And in this case, I'm going to take a 6B pencil, a very, very soft pencil. And I'm going to come to the very, the very last one. And I'm going to make this, this a very, very solid dark tone here. You can start to see this. You can see how this is really showing up well on the camera. Right, this dark tone. Again, I want to keep this as smooth and even a tone across this value panel as I can. All right. So I might go over it in a couple of different directions. I think it's a good idea to go ahead and go all the way to the edges of this. And I'll show you why when we put this into use, okay? So I'm just going to color this in and make a good solid dark panel like this. Okay, so now I have a very, very light panel and a very dark one. Now I'm going to start to move back and forth. I'm going to make this one a little bit darker than the one to the left. I'm going to make this panel here a little bit lighter than the one to the right until I meet in the middle and I'm going to end up with six different panels. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on that and I will come back and I'll show you. Okay, I've gone ahead and skipped ahead and finished off this little value scale. Now when you're doing this you want to be as careful about it as you can and try to get as even a tone in these panels as you can because it's going to be much more helpful for you. It's hard to see in this in this weird light I've got here. But it, these are actually a lot more even than they than they look in this uh, in this bright light. But anyway, do this as, as as smoothly as you can. The other thing you want to really be uh, careful about is to make sure that you have a, a smooth transition from these. So this is my lightest tone. This is my darkest tone. This is just slightly light, uh, darker than this one, but slightly lighter than this one. Same as here. This is slightly lighter than the black, and then slightly darker than the one to the to the left of it. So you want to come up with as smooth a transition here as you can. All right. So once we get this finished, um, I will show us what we're going to be doing uh, and how we're going to make this into a, a really, really useful value scale for our drawings. And that'll be on my the next video. But once you've, once you've created this, remember to, to divide it up into even sections, as many sections as you feel comfortable with. You might have I have six, you might have eight, you might have nine, whatever is going to work the best for you. And then you're going to draw these out and take some time. Since this is a, going to be a guide that's going to help you as you continue your drawings, you want to make sure that you, you take some, some care in the, the production of this thing because that's going to pay off in the end. All right, so I'm going to come back with my next video and show us how to use this.